everybody. I hope you're doing great today. We're going to talk a little bit about some stocking stuffers or just those gifts that sort of fall under the $25 mark at or under $25. I feel like earlier on in the season I hauled and talked about a lot of the bigger gift set type things and sort of laid out what I was interested in and what I wasn't. But here lately I've been digging into some of the smaller beauty related makeup bundles and little things that might make a nice addition to a larger gift or a stocking stuffer, just a great little gift on its own. Whatever you need it to be. I think there's a lot of flexibility with these things. And I'm going to start out with probably the biggest MVP. I love these. I'm shocked that they're not completely sold out already, but it's these great little blush and balm duos from NARS. NARS has been doing a pretty good job this holiday season. I mentioned the VIP room um, like little collector set, and these little guys here I think are so amazing. So in this cute little triangular packaging, they have three different options. And something I really love about it is that all the blushes in here are iconic shades that exist in their line. The Orgasm Blush and then you're going to get the Coordinating Balm there. Also Torrid and Dulce Vita. I love, love, love the coordination between the balms and the blushes. Um, this is what they look like, by the way, size-wise. The blushes are small, but yet, you know, it's not the kind of blush that you've got to use a ton of every time you dip your brush in. This one's Torrid here and you saw me, actually, if you watched my um, powder foundation video, you watched the Torrid Duo go on. So this is more of like a corally pink blush and a coral balm. Perhaps my favorite duo might be the Dulce Vita, which this was probably the first NARS blush I ever owned in a full size. This is a pretty dusty rose shade. I've actually got that on as my blush today. And then the balm is 100% your lips but better. Beautiful color. And with the orgasm set, I'm not going to bust into that one because I already have the mini blush. So this is a beautiful pinky flush with kind of a goldeny shimmer. And then I have that balm in the full size. I hope they come out with full sizes in those other balms too because it's a really great formula, this afterglow. So I would totally recommend these. I think they're so fun. They're adorable. Everything's all nicely wrapped up right inside here. If you like soft pinky peach, I would go for the orgasm duo. If you're really into corals, I mean, this is just beautiful. You can see the way that looks on in my uh, powder foundation video again. And then Dulce Vita, we're talking dusty rose, your lips but better lip color, and then just that beautiful works with anything blush. I love these so much. Also, speaking of NARS, I had mentioned the VIP room collection, which contains a uh, shade of this velvet matte lip pencil that I think is absolutely glorious and it is Dulce Vita. It gives you this beautiful natural rosy lipped look like kind of a soft red. I'm just so in love with that. It made my favorites video as my top favorite lip pick of the month and you're getting that full size in the VIP room set as well as another reddish shade. But if you're not really interested in that entire set and more so just the lip products, you might want to look into this at Sephora and this contains Dulce Vita in a mini. Just a little bit smaller than this full size. And then they also have Cruella, which is more of a true red in there. And there are a couple different color combos you can choose from, but that's just 20 bucks and a couple of great products inside. And that velvet matte formula, if you're not familiar, it's like a jumbo pencil. It is sharpenable, um, but it has a nice softness and your lips look kind of pillowy with it on is the best description I can give because it does not give a dry look. Just this very full color, soft matte look. All right, I think we've covered NARS. Here's another super cute thing on Sephora's website. These mini Pat McGrath balms. I feel like a lot of people are aware of her lipsticks, but the balms are so nice. I've had a full size of one of her balms for some time now, and I think it's super comfortable, has a really nice level of color, um, not a ton of over-the-top shine. I'm wearing one of these right now. It's just ultra comfortable on the lips and not as heavy, not as intense as a regular lipstick. And this little set, I'm holding them here because they actually come in a little pouch filled with sequins. So that is is a fun presentation, but not something I'm going to be tossing around here. And you do get one just clear balm, which could be nice to have, you know, if you're just wanting something to act more as a lip treatment, maybe a little before bedtime hydration. But the other two shades you're getting are called Blow Up and Flesh 3. I'm wearing Flesh 3 right now. Flesh 3 gives me a real reddish berry type look to the lips. I really love that kind of color. But Blow Up is going to be more of your neutral, um, definitely playing off of some of the natural 
natural colors already in your lips, but takes that natural tone and makes it a bit more nude or neutral. Super comfortable, I cannot get over, like when I call these cute, like this is what I mean, I love the white, and then this gold lip around the closure, I think that's so cute. This is the kind of product you get or you give to somebody and they're gonna wanna like keep that out. Don't put it in a drawer, put it out on display. Also on Sephora's website, guys, I must point out the Philosophy Warm Apple Cider Donut Body Wash. This has been my go-to for like the past month and a half or so in my shower. I love this stuff. It's an apple-y scent. It's got a strong cinnamon vibe in there. It screams holidays. I like that they've also kind of stepped up the packaging and made it a bit more cute and festive, but Warm Apple Cider Donut. I'm actually considering getting another one. It's just a super pleasant, warm and cozy, yummy type of scent. So I don't want that to get past you. You might tack that onto your next Sephora order. If you're a fan of the cinnamon, kind of baked goods sort of scents, um, if you're not big on cinnamon, I would skip that. Now I want to share a few Ulta finds. I should probably point out that if you have not yet gotten your hands on the Once palette, my friends, that is $20 at Ulta. Don't worry, I'm not going to toot my own horn too long on this one, but I love this palette. It's beautiful. I was playing with this just last week and got so reminded of all those colors in there and why I chose what I chose and why I love that palette so much. But it is an amazingly fair price at only $20 for all those shades. A beautiful mirror. Love it. Next, this set from Mario Badescu. Okay, Sephora's got a little set from this brand too, but they're only giving you three. At Ulta, they're putting in four, and I believe at some point in time, I've talked about three of these four. The Rose Spray, the Aloe Cucumber, the Lavender. I love all of those. And then this set has exposed me to a new scent that I had never tried. Come to think of it, I'm not actually sure if it's new or if I've just missed it somewhere along the line, but it's the Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom. So that's been the one I've been playing with. And I think I'm just going to give these others away as stocking stuffer type items. I mean, it's two fluid ounces, but that's a substantial amount of product here. The packaging is just like a resealable um, Ziploc, basically. So nothing too spectacular if you do decide to break it up. It's not like you're breaking up some amazing packaging here. But these have been some of my favorite myths. I think the scents are so on point, so enjoyable. Not overwhelming, but just very accurate to what they claim to be. You can miss these on before your makeup. They make a great after makeup setting type spray. And I'd say they're kind of a middle of the road product because they're not like a mattifying type of spray, but at the same time, they don't make you look insanely dewy. But they sort of temper that matte look a little bit that you might come away with if you've used a lot of powder on your skin. Everything I think just ends up looking a bit more fresh. I'm of course wearing that orange one today, like I said, but all these scents are so nice. And for 20 bucks, I think that's a great way to maybe take care of a lot of small gifts. They're little add-on gifts, you know what I'm saying. If you need something, guys, that would please literally anyone, just a great gift for anybody, $18 here from Kiehl's, and you're getting that glorious, wonderful creme decor lotion, which is just so heavy duty, very moisturizing. I've got it in the big pump size because I talked about this around Nordstrom sale time and I feel like it leaves the skin looking kind of luminous. Like you put that on your legs and they look so glowy, but it's not by way of any shimmer or anything. It's just the deep hydration that this provides. And then also in this little kit, I'll just show you, you're getting the Kiehl's um, lip balm number one. Anybody could use that. It reminds me of kind of an aquaphor type thing a nice sort of before bed ritual type product there. But they call this the Nourishing Dream Team. I think both would be a great like throw them on after the shower and you feel so nicely hydrated. If there was ever a time to get that lotion, it would be this time of year. And it doesn't have a super profound scent. For the most part, I would call this lotion basically unscented. So that's a big part of why I say this would work for anyone. It's just handling the moisturization, not presuming to give people a bunch of fragrance alongside it. So I think that would make a great gift if you're kind of unsure what to do. Guys, I also want to point out that I found some deals on Besame's website. They've put together some little holiday bundles, and one of them is a mini lipstick trio for $20, and you guys know how long I have had some of my mini Besame lipsticks. They are so potent color-wise. A little bit definitely goes a long way, so I would snatch this one up if you've ever 
thought about getting a Bessemer lipstick, but you've sort of been on the fence about which one. Maybe you don't like the thought of a high-end price tag for just one product. Get the trio for sure. This one's going to contain um, Forever Red, a very classic red, Chocolate Kiss, Little More Neutral, and then the 1963 shade Portrait Pink. It also says this holiday get the mini lipstick trio and receive a free mini lipstick pin. But why am I so nuts about Besame? Basically this brand digs into uh, makeup history and figures out the iconic shades from certain time periods and recreates those into modern formulas that are, again, really pigmented, really smooth, very easy to put on with those lipsticks. If you want all day staying power, which I definitely got all day with the Dusty Rose shade when I was wearing that uh, giving birth, but you put it on and give it a blot and then put it on again and blot once more. And you can apply it either from the stick or with a lip brush, but they're just super bold, really beautiful colors. Yes, the bold and the beautiful. What's going to happen with Thomas, nobody knows. But anyway, that's a set that I'm really thinking about getting myself. And finally, I just want to real quick mention some stocking stuffers that are not limited edition, that are not confined to just one time of year, but are pretty much some of the best palette bang for your buck. I'm talking a freestanding gift or just something to go in a stocking. The Pro Fusion palettes, guys. These little ones are around $5. You got your all matte eyeshadow look. I love this one. These are available at Walmart. And what's so funny is that years ago on my channel, I might have mentioned Profusion in terms of being kind of this random brand that would just crop up only around the holidays in Walgreens, random sort of no-name palettes, and now the brand has really made a name for themselves. They've got their regular footprint now in Walmart, and they're making non-limited edition palettes that you can always get your hands on. So the Mattes is a great one. Um, I've used this several times in videos, the Smoky Collection. I love that assortment of shades. So nice, and we're talking really good pigmentation. You do not have to feel funny about like, oh, I just got a cheap palette from Walmart. I'm going to throw this into a gift basket. I'm not sure how it's going to be. I guarantee you these are phenomenal. Great mattes, really pigmented shimmers as well. Also, don't ignore the blush palettes. There's a blush one and two. Today, I'm also wearing um, shades from the highlight and contour palette on my skin. Like, you just cannot miss with this stuff. If you're trying to help someone build up their collection, get a nice variety of shades. And also, as far as the larger palettes, there's a pretty big range. You know, some of them go pretty colorful, some are more neutral, but overall, just the mattes palette, I think, is a real standout. I'm wearing this today as well, and there was a time when I think Profusion was just sort of getting started with the new brand as it stands today, like in Walmart, and I remember saying, like, if they would just come out with an all matte palette, they have a really good matte formula going, and lo and behold, they have done that, and I've had this one on hand for a while. I keep it actually very handy right here on my vanity area, and don't you love the splashes of warm in this palette, but also cool. It kind of feels like a partial dupe of like the Viseart um, Warm Neutrals palette that they have, but seriously, such nice quality there. Soft, easy to blend, easy to work with mattes. Today with my look, gosh, what am I wearing? All three of the shades in this sort of pinky row right here, and also a little bit of tease, this dark shade here, kind of charcoal color in the outer corner. But when I do an all matte look, I mean, there is something so satisfying about that. I like my shimmers. There are obviously some beautiful sparkly looks that can be done, but there's something so pleasing to me about a perfect all matte eye. So that's kind of a fun little palette to snag if you haven't already. But yeah, guys, those are my stocking stuffer picks. If you have run into anything that's really affordable, $25 or less that you'd like to tack on here, let us know in the comments section. But when I discovered those NARS duos, the blush and balms, I was like, okay, I've got to dig in and just let people know about those and then some other things. So thank you so much for your time and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.